Where they were persecuted in, in their own country. Bet viņus gan, gan tika vajāk savu pa, savā pašu zemē. Where there is something very, very strong, instinctive, instinctively. They want, they don't want to die. There is something, a life force as if operating like an organic uh, Viņos ir kaut kas ļoti spēcīgs, kas uh, viņiem ļāva pārdzīvot šo so in India we still have, after uh, thousands of years, we are still there very much like we were in the beginning, in spite of the fact that people came from outside and they persecuted, tried everything to finish, but we are still there. <laughs> On, uh, but uh, tagad pēc tūkstošiem gadu, uh, mūsu tradīcijas ir tādas pašas kā sanā, un viņas ir izdzīvojušas un tikušas koptas, uh, neraugoties uz to, ka tauta tikus vajāta un uh, ļoti apspiesta. So this is not only for India. India is perhaps the most ancient indigenous tradition, which is known as the Hinduism. But you are all in their own way. It's all their pockets of the indigenous traditions. The whole country has become Christian or Islamic, but still there are pockets. People don't want to simply die. I mean, there's something, a kind of living force operating in this system that keeps you going. Un katrī valsts ir tikusi kristianizēta, vai arī daļa no tās ir islamticīgie, tomēr ir atsevišķa saliņas, kas nes senās tradīcijas un negrib, vienkārši negrib izmiet viņi to uztur un saglabā un tas dzīvo. And there is a word in Sanskrit, it's known as jidīvišā. Ir viens vārds sanskritā, Jidimsha <laughs> means a strong will to survive. So there's something which is built in all these cultures, which is really a quest for immortality. We cannot die. Nobody can finish it. Tas ir kaut kas ļoti iedzimts, dziļi iedzimts šajās kultūrās, ka viņas negrib izmīrt, ka viņas grib dzīvot un pastāvēt. That was a little introduction because my talk was already given, you know, in a very graphic way by Vijayaji. And by the way, Vijaya is the name of the goddess and she is the consort of Shiva. So Kali, Durga, Vijaya is also we worship Vijaya. Latvia and India have very old connections. Latvia and India are very famous scientists. One of the very famous yoga teacher who really popularized yoga was Indira Devi. You know that? She was a Latvian. She went to India. She was a Latvian. India. This was uh, close to about 70-80 years ago. Indira. Indira Devi. Yeah. And a very famous yoga teacher known as Ayengar. BKS Ayengar. She was contemporary of Ayengar. The, the teacher of Ayengar and Indira Devi was the same person. He was brother-in-law of uh, Ayengar. So th this is another cultural connection with Latvia. Well, uh, so now I come to the topic. The, the theme of the conference was the calendar. So 
calendar has to do with the time. Kalendārs ir mūsu tēma, un tātad aplūkojam, tas ir laiks. And I'm not a scholar, I'm not a judiciary, I'm not a scholar. So I thought that I should come up with something that is universal, and that will appeal to everyone. Kā es neesmu astrologs, vai cits veids speciālis, kas būtu ar to taistīt, bet what you said you will then present it as universal. But it's a domain of the Vispariga Veda Basne. Calendar has to do with the movement of the time. Calendars are Kusti, but it's a state of life Kusti. Kusti is the life of Kusti. Shiva is the cosmic dance movement, as Vijayaji so beautifully explained it. Šīvas deja ir saistīta ar kustību kosmosā, ar to, kas ir kustību dēļ. Nākamo slaidu. Nākamo slaidu. Ok, gribu tāpēc. Tas ir dāļas par šīvā. Tas ir dāļas par kreāšanu, kas ir dāļas par 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 dāļas uh, over of Shiva, which is known as Dataraja. <coughs> so, Shiva Deya is tested for tradition. Why not tradition? Why is it not? Why is it not? And then, the Kala Chakra means wheel of time. So in a wheel, the time is considered as cyclic in the Indian. 